tell you one thing about the Israeli army. It's one of the best armies in the world. Some say even the best army in the world. But it's not because we're the, be we're the fastest runners. It's not because we're the best shooters. And it's not because we're the strongest people. It's not. They're stronger people than us. They're faster people than us. And they're better shooters than us. We're good, but we're not the best in that. But what, one thing that we're the best in is the soul and the understanding that we're protecting our country and our nation. And if we won't do that, we'll be on the sea, in the sea, not on the sea, in the sea. And we don't know to swim. Right. No, we, we don't know, know, we know how to swim, but we prefer no. staying on land. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, we're living in a very <clears throat> in a neighborhood which is a very brutal neighborhood, and the neighbors, I would say, don't like us. And uh, we're fighting for our lives all the time. And this is the understanding and the soul of the Israeli soldiers. Now you, are, you have to understand, all of us have families, all of us have kids. But when an Israeli soldier understands, he has a mission. And in that mission, he can lose his life. But if he loses his life, he saves another person, he'll do that. And he won't hesitate for a second. Now I can tell you one thing, I don't know you people. The only person I saw before was Bill. Uh, but although I don't know you people, if I have a mission to take the bullet for one of you guys, me or my soldiers will do it. Why? Because you're the friends of Israel. That's it. That's how we do it. And we want you to send a message to all over the world. And every person that steps in this place, I tell him the same thing. To be a Jew 75 years ago, or 80 years ago, or 100 years ago, is not the same thing as being a Jew today. 75 years ago, you would walk in the street in Germany and you would look at the German, just because you looked in him in the eyes, he could kill you. And no one would say a word. But today, no one will lay a finger on a Jew. Why? Because we have a country and we have an army and the long arm of the Israeli security forces will be everywhere in the world to protect our people, all the friends of Israel. And this is the message I want you to, bury with, I want you to take with you and tell everybody. And this is the main point of training at Calibre. Now I talk to...